Wilmington Mayor Mike Przicki also attended the resource fair. He talked to DETV News. Matt, you filed this report. That's right, Lauren. The mayor gave an assessment of how he thought the city fared after the disaster. Take a look. The mayor gave his city high marks for cleanup efforts and assistance to residents in the immediate aftermath of the flooding. I think the uh, job one for us was to um, get the water away from places where people were living. It was to pump out basements. It was to clean the streets, get the mud off the streets, take the 125 tons of trash away from that was let outside. I think our public works people did a remarkable job. The city has been a little overwhelmed by the longer term needs of residents with an estimated 60 residents with still nowhere to live. I don't know what we could have done, but we didn't do enough. But I just, it's, um, well, let's put it this way. The public sector itself didn't do enough. But this is a once in a lifetime event, or certainly once in, maybe twice in a lifetime. And so the scope of the problem was just more than we were equipped to handle. And now you've got people who are, whose homes are uninhabitable because of gas, electric, uh, the, uh, the infrastructure to go in and reinspect all the properties and then get them back to code again. Is just it just can't be responsive enough. It just you know it's just too, the scale's too too hard, and so those folks have to be moved, <clears throat> and it's not just picking them up and moving them to an apartment because there's no furniture. Now you got to figure out where they go, and so we just spoke to some woman who just took her tenants and moved them to Newark. Well, that's you know that's um, what we're looking at. The, in in the city, we don't have the capacity to move people into a hotel, so they're going other places. One continuing bright spot, he said, has been the outpouring of donations to the residents from both inside and out of Wilmington. The, you know, the bright side of these terrible events is it brings out the best in, in human beings. And our community was certainly no exception. We had people, I, I mentioned earlier that everybody along 14th and 15th Street were out helping one another clean out their garages and pick up the heavy stuff and taking it out to the curb. So, you know, that was that kind of internal team effort, but we had people coming from all over the county coming here to volunteer and do whatever they could to help others. And I think that's, that's the bright spot here. You know, it, it shows you that uh, we're a good community and uh, nobody's, nobody's alone. We're all in this together. The city also launched a crisis cleanup hotline number. Residents can call the toll-free number to be connected with local volunteer groups that may assist with cutting fallen trees, removing drywall, flooring, appliances, tarping roofs, and mold mitigation. The number to call is on your screen. In partnership with the Delaware Volunteer Organization's Active in Disaster, these services are performed free of charge by volunteers. The crisis cleanup hotline will remain open until Friday, October 1st. Also on Wednesday, the Delaware Emergency Management Agency announced a new flood cleanup assistance program providing cleanup services for qualifying households through the Milford Housing Development Corporation. Cleanup services available may include mucking, removal of damaged drywall, moisture control, minor structural repairs, and insurance premium assistance. Residents can apply for the program by calling this number on your screen. Eligibility includes earning less than $52,000 per year for a single household and higher limits for families.